Greetings everyone, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about what we will do in weeks 6, 7, and 8 of our Spatial Thinking and Web Mapping Mastery Series course through the Online Learning Consortium. I'm so excited about this because now we'll be able to, after week 5 when we were all together with an immersive kind of experience, now in weeks 6, 7, and 8, just like 2, 3, and 4, we will have some independent three-week experiences where you will go off and apply what we've been learning. And specifically, in these three weeks, I'm going to have you do a couple of things, actually six things. They're all hands-on, so you'll gain practice using some of the skills that you've been learning, and also keep thinking about integrating this into your own teaching and learning. First of all, we'll reflect on Phil Gershmel's modes of spatial thinking. I think that'll provide us with a nice framework here. Number two, we'll analyze some real-time data, which is exploding, as you must uh, be aware, that you can actually analyze dynamic content, which is perfect for analyzing our dynamic planet, right? The world is changing rapidly. These tools allow us to incorporate this real-time and near-real-time data that's all around us and make sense of our world and be able to teach and learn with it. We're specifically going to look at stream flow and weather using web maps inside our tool called ArcGIS Online. Number three, we'll watch a couple of videos describing editable feature services and discuss how citizen science could be used in your instruction. Fourth, we're going to add data about your own campus, your vegetation on your campus specifically, tree height, tree species, plant height, plant species, plant condition, and we're going to do that in citizen science mode using ArcGIS Online. And number five, we're going to create your own story through web maps using story maps and ArcGIS Online. And number six, we're going to create your own lesson using geotechnologies and web mapping in education. So this is where you've been reflecting on what you might do with these tools and these perspectives and this content that you've been learning. How do we actually incorporate that into your own instruction? As you know from being instructors, that is a hard bridge oftentimes. It's like, take what you've learned, and now I'm going to incorporate it into my own curriculum. So, but I really want you to do that, because as you well know, if you don't do that uh, inside a course that you're taking or soon afterwards, chances are you're never going to incorporate it, right? Because we get busy with other things. So I, on purpose, have this inside the course where you're going to create your own lesson now, it doesn't have to be your master's or, you know, your dissertation uh, thesis, but something concrete where you're saying, okay, I'm going to commit to using these skills, this perspective, these tools inside my own lesson. And this is how, how I'm going to do it. And share with us so we can all learn from each other. All right, let's get started. Thanks.